So I do three blind mice. Two mice cancel out. A third mouse still to be dealt with. Uh, there are uh, six of you here listening to me. One of you is a killer. One of you is a killer. And uh, another of you is the killer's prospective victim. Uh, that's the person I'm speaking to now. I think I might have had a door closed and shut just as I came out of the kitchen. Which door? I don't know. Think, Mrs. Walton. Try and think. An upstairs, a downstairs, a close at hand, a right, a left. I don't know. What if you try to anything? Can't you stop pulling her? Can't you see she's all with? We're investigating a murder, Mr. Ralston. Up to now, no one has taken this thing seriously. Uh, Mrs. Boyle didn't. She held out on me with information. You all held out on me with information. Well, Mrs. Boyle is dead. And unless we get to the bottom of this, and quickly, mind, there's going to be another death. A Lawrence Vaughn case. Under certain circumstances, I, I wouldn't think it was so much of a coincidence. I think it out, Mrs. Case. Now, I want to get down uh, quite clearly what everyone was at the time Mrs. Boyer was killed. I, I already had Mrs. Walston's mm. statement. Uh, you were in the kitchen chopping vegetables. You came out into the passage. Right? Yeah, anything until Mrs. Ralston screamed. Uh, what did you do there? I came in here. Uh, at once? I think so. You say that you were writing letters in the library when you heard Mrs. Ralston scream. Yes. <laughs> and then you got up suddenly from the writing table and uh, came in here. Yes. And yet there doesn't seem to be any unfinished letter on the writing table in the library. I brought it with me. Ah. Uh, dearest Jesse, a friend of yours or relation? That is absolutely none of your business. Perhaps not. You know, if I were writing a letter and I heard someone screaming for murder, I don't think I would take the time to, to pick up my unfinished letter, fold it, uh, put it in my handbag, uh, before going to see what was the matter. You wouldn't. How very interesting. <laughs> now, Major Metcalf, uh, you say that you were in the cellar. Why? Walking around, and then you passed by the cupboard door. If you say so. I have no idea where your skis are. And and you were actually in that cupboard earlier today. Yes, I was. At the time Mrs. Boyle was killed. At the time Mrs. Boyle was killed, I had gone to the cellars. Uh, then you must have seen my skis as you passed through there then. I haven't the least idea. Uh, didn't you see them there? I can't remember. You must remember whether you saw my skis or not. Is it that? What do you want? You may have heard some of the questions I was asking you, <laughs> Mr. Pavicini. Yes, I heard them. I'd like to get a little information from you. Mm, what would you like to know? Uh, a full name, please. Leslie Margaret Catherine Casewell. Uh, Catherine. I spelled it with a K. Uh, quite so. Address? De La Mariposa, Pandio, Mallorca. Well, that's in Italy? It's an island. A Spanish island. I see. Uh, and your address in England? Care of Morgan's Bank, Leaden Hall Street. No other English address? No. Uh, and how long have you been in England? A week. And you've been staying since your arrival? <coughs> At the Ledbury Hotel in Knightsbridge. And uh, what business brought you here to Monster Manor? Just wanted somewhere quiet in the country. And how long did you or do you propose to remain here? Until I have finished what I came here to do. <coughs> and what was that? And what uh, was that? What was it that you came here to do? <coughs> I beg your pardon, I was thinking of something else. You haven't answered my question, Miss Casewell. <clears throat> I really don't see why I should, you know. It's a matter that concerns me alone, a private affair. Oh, the same, Miss Casewell. I'd like to know. I don't think we'll argue about it. Would you at least tell me your age? Certainly. It's in my passport. I'm 24. 24? Yes. You were thinking I look older. Is there anyone in this country who can vouch for you? My bank will reassure you to my financial standing, and I can refer you to my solicitor, the very discreet man. I'm not in a position to give you a social reference. I've lived most of my life abroad. What are you doing here? It seems to worry you. It does worry me. You, you went abroad when you were 13. Not 12, 13, I don't know, thereabouts. What's your name, Casewell, then? It's my name now. 
What was your name when you went abroad? But come on, tell me. What are you trying to prove? I want to know what your name was when you left England. It was a long time ago. I've forgotten. There are some things one doesn't forget. Possibly. Loneliness. Despair. I guess. What's your real name? <coughs> I told you. Leslie Margaret Catherine. Catherine, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, I thought the police weren't allowed to give people the third degree. I have really been interrogating this case, Weller. You seem to have upset her. What did he do? Nothing. It's nothing. It's just all this murder is so horrible and it came over me suddenly. That's all. I go up to my room. It's impossible. Georgie, no! Georgie, oh God, no! Georgie, stop! You remember me, don't you? Don't you remember me, Georgie? You remember me and the farm? Do you remember the farm and the animals and the fat old pig and the day the bull chases across the field and the dogs? Dogs? Yes, it's what I'm playing. Kathy? Yes, it's Kathy. Oh, Kathy, it me. is you. <laughs> what, what, what are you doing here? God, Georgie, I came to England to find you. I didn't recognize you until you twirled your hair that way. You always used to do that. Would you come with me? Come with me. You're coming with me. Uh, where, where are we going? 